Battle of Zadwurz was a battle of the Polish-Soviet War. It was fought on 17 August 1920 near the railway station of Zadwurz, a small village located 33 kilometers from the city center of Lwów. The battle, lasting roughly 24 hours, resulted in the complete destruction of the Polish forces but at the same time halted the Soviet advance, preventing the forces of Siemian Budionii from seizing Lwów and so contributing to the successful defense of Warsaw. The battle has been called a Polish Thermopylae. Chapter 1 – History Chapter 1 – Section 1 – Eve of the Battle By mid-August 1920 the Red Army broke all Polish lines of defense and was marching towards Warsaw. The Polish headquarters prepared a plan to counter-attack the Red Army on its left flank from the Wipfs River area, in what became known as the Battle of Warsaw. To gather enough forces for the offensive, General Józef Pilsudski, Polish commander-in-chief, ordered all available units to move to the Wipres area, and withdrew a number of formations from the Polish Southern Front, leaving only two and a half infantry divisions to oppose the 12th Red Army and Budyani's cavalry. The city of Lwów was left with merely token forces defending the upper Bug River line against three Russian armies. After several days of heavy fighting, the 1st Cavalry Army under Siemian Budionii broke through Polish lines of defense and started its march towards Lwów. The civilian inhabitants of the city started to organize resistance and build field fortifications, anticipating a long siege. Several thousand civilians, mostly students and veterans of the 1918 Battle of Lwów, volunteered for the self-defense units. Ill-equipped detachments were sent towards the front line and fought in several battles, but were unable to stop numerically and technologically superior forces of the Red Army. Chapter 1 Section 2 – Battle Among the volunteer units organized in Lvov was a group of soldiers of Major Roman Abraham. On the morning of 16 August the 1st Battalion of the 54th Krasy Rifles Infantry Regiment was sent from Lvov towards the village of Novoziolki in order to help the endangered units formed by Roman Abraham. Upon its arrival, the battalion found the town occupied by the Red Army and recaptured it. However, the following day, it was endangered by encirclement, and was ordered to withdraw towards Lvov. In the morning of 17 August it was taken by surprise near a train station in the village of Zadwurz and was completely destroyed by forces of the Red 6th Cavalry Division of the 1st Cavalry Army. All Polish soldiers, approximately 200, were killed or missing. At the same time, a battalion of approximately 500 volunteers organized by Roman Abraham under command of Captain Boleslav Zadzikowski was marching from Krosne along the Lwów Tarnopol Railroad. On 17 August, shortly before noon, when the group reached the village of Kutkorts it was attacked with machine gun fire from the nearby village of Zadwurz. Captain Zadzikowski ordered his men to form a line and started an assault towards the village. After a short fight, 330 Poles captured the train station. However, the village was not taken and soon the Polish forces were counter-attacked by units of the 6th Cavalry Division. By dusk, the Poles' ammunition was almost completely depleted, yet the Polish unit managed to repel six consecutive cavalry charges. Captain Zadzikowski decided that further defense of the station was impossible, and ordered his units to retreat towards Lvov. However, the retreat was halted by three Bolshevik airplanes, strafing the Polish defenders. After suffering heavy casualties, Zadzikowski ordered his men to organize a last pocket of resistance near the lineman's hut. After hand-to-hand -hand combat with sabers and bayonets, the Polish resistance was broken. Out of 330 Polish soldiers who seized the train station earlier that day, 318 were dead. Several dozen wounded Poles were captured by the Red Army, and are assumed murdered. Captain Zadzikowski himself committed suicide in order not to be captured by the enemy. Only 12 Polish soldiers returned to the Polish lines to recount what had happened during the battle. Chapter 1 Section 3 Aftermath 
The battle was a disaster for the Polish forces defending Zadwurz, in effect they were almost annihilated. However, the eleven-hour-long fight halted the advance of the whole 6th Cavalry Division for almost 24 hours. This allowed for the strengthening of the defences of Lvov. In addition, because of the defence of Zadwurz, the 1st Cavalry Army of Semyon Budionii could not reach the forces fighting in the Battle of Warsaw and attack the undefended right flank of the forces of Józef Pilsudski advancing towards the rear of the Red Army forces around Warsaw. When the forces of Budionii finally regrouped and restarted their march northwards it was already too late and the Battle of Warsaw ended with a complete defeat of the Red Army. The 1st Cavalry Army was later defeated in a Battle of Komaro, which became known as the biggest cavalry battle since the 18th century. Chapter 2 – Remembrance Because of the heroic defense and high casualties, the Battle of Zadwurz was nicknamed the Polish Battle of Thermopylae. Among the Polish soldiers killed in the battle was 19-year-old Konstanty Zarujiewicz, a student of the 7th course of primary school and a veteran of the 1918 defense of Lwów, for which he was awarded with Virtuti Militari in Krasai's war Lexnich. His body was never found. He was depicted on a 20s light oak coin released by Poland to commemorate the battle. In 1925 when the authorities of Warsaw and the commanders of the Polish army decided to build a tomb of the unknown soldier in Warsaw, his mother Jadwiga Zarujiewicz was chosen as the person to select the coffin to be transported to Warsaw and buried in the grave. Chapter 3 – Related Reading Beetle Wowska 25718 by 1920 Documenti Opera Kane, Retum, Warsaw ISBN 83 7399 0127